My name is Tom. Today I'll be showing you how to reset the A81 fault in the Yasakawa Sigma 2 servo amplifier. Now this procedure is only good for the Sigma 2 amplifier itself. If you have an options module such as an MP940 installed, there is a different procedure that needs to be performed. And I perform that procedure in another video, but this video is only for the Sigma 2 amplifier. So with that being said, I'm going to scroll down here a little bit and show you the materials for today's project. Now the last thing on my list is a battery backup for the encoder. I added that so that you had a number for the battery and also a location where to purchase it. Then I'm going to keep scrolling here and show you the project description. In the project description here, I also give you several possible causes of this fault. Now I'm going to continue scrolling here and show you the step-by-step -step guide. It's only five steps long, so it should be pretty quick. But I will be performing this in the video in a few seconds. And that's it for my step-by-step -step guide. Here you have a Yasakawa Sigma 2 servo amplifier with an A81 fault. To reset this fault, you will need to go to the utility function display. So press the mode set button. This is the button on the left. Now you should have the utility function display. In my case, it's reading function 0. Use the up or down arrow buttons to change the display to read function 0, 0, 8. With function 0, 0, 8 displayed, press and hold the data button until PGCL1 is displayed. This is the button on the right. With PGCL1 displayed, use the up arrow button to display PGCL5 on the display. With PGCL5 displayed, press the mode set button again. Now you should see the word done flash on the display two times and then return back to PGCL5. Now you're almost done. All that's left is to power cycle the amplifier. So we'll power it down and power it back up. And when it powers up, it's going to do a diagnostics. And the amplifier should come back up in base block, which you should see BB display. So there you have it. We cleared the A81 fault and the amplifier had powered up in base block so it is ready for a run command. So I hope you liked the video. Then in this video I was able to reset this A81 fault. Now if I was not able to reset it after a couple of tries of this procedure, I would have had to have looked further into items such as a bad encoder on the motor, a bad cable, or possibly a bad amplifier. So if you liked my video or you learned something from it, let me know, leave a comment. Otherwise, I'll see you next video.